What's up quarter pounders? Welcome back to my channel. My name's Wave Potter and today I'm checking out a brand new drummer to the channel, Zane Soero. And I found her over on Instagram and I was shocked to see that she covered this song because this is such a complex song. It's Goat by Polyphia. And it's a song I've been wanting to listen to on the channel. I think I actually reacted to this song in a live stream once. Actually, Polyphia playing it live, I think. But this time is a drum cover by a 10 year old drummer. So with this level of complexity to the composition, this is gonna be really interesting. Again, this is Zane, so I wrote, and I'll put the link below, but let's check it out. What a spooky sound. Tim Henson's guitar composition is just so unparalleled. Really leaving space for the different instruments in the song shows a lot of maturity in your drum playing because having that restraint is not something that typically comes along with a kid drummer. I know for me, I was just completely wild on the drums. I had no restraint at this age. So actually servicing the song like this, playing what needs to be played, and having this relaxed posture and approach to playing is very impressive. Nice cymbal choke there, Ooh. and a double stroke on the snare. Nice kick drum work, hi-hat work. Wow. Really great use of the rebound off of the hi-hat. These are very intricate patterns rhythmically on the hi-hat and the kick drum and even throwing in the splashes there on that offbeat feel, really well executed. That was a nice double stroke after that splash. Wow, that was really well executed right there. Wow. I'm always impressed when I see kids that are able to play double strokes like that because it's something that took me so long to start practicing, especially with my left hand. So to see her incorporating them into all these drum fills and just attempting the song in general. Nice. Got that double kick stroke with one foot on the single pedal. This song has so many change-ups, so many complex patterns, it's by no means straightforward at all in the way it's composed. 
So it's amazing just being able to learn this song to keep up with it and follow it because there's so much going on. Oh, nice. Stick click there. Nice. Wow. I was going to say a really cool triplet fill on that splash symbol, but then that snare fill. It's really impressive too. She's really got finesse in her fills. I am blown away by her double stroke control. That is so crazy. Definitely a drummer to keep an eye on. Again, it's Zane and she's from New Zealand. So that's cool. I think it might be the first New Zealand musician that I've watched on this channel. But I just wanted to do a video featuring her. Please go subscribe to her channel. Go support her work. Help her continue growing as a drummer um, because She's got crazy potential. She's clearly put in a ton of work getting good at uh, stick control and fills. Got a great pocket, very re relaxed playing, so tons of potential. And uh, from what I saw on Instagram, she also jams with her dad, who plays guitar, so that's really cool. It's always nice to have that kind of connection. I had that with my dad, too. That's how I got into music. So my dad was a keyboardist and a guitar player, and we grew up jamming together so i'll put the link to this video down below so you can go check out her channel so thank you so much for watching i appreciate you thank you to all my patrons for helping me to keep do keep doing this is that proper grammar i don't even remember what i said anyway <laughs> pound like on this video if you enjoyed it to help other people see it and subscribe to the channel if it's your first time here again if you'd like to make your own requests you can always join my patreon my youtube membership or visit my website below. But thank you for watching and I'll talk to you next time.